Welcome to another Revel University video tutorial. This video will walk you through how to add modifiers and assign them to your products. As with all of our tutorials, you can jump ahead to any topic that is most important to you. All tutorials have a table of contents listed below and you can use the time bar at the bottom of the video to jump to a different section. Before we begin adding modifiers, let's first explore how modifiers are useful. Modifiers are any modifications you allow customers to make to your default products. For example, maybe a customer wants to add extra mayonnaise to their sandwich or wants no onions on their burgers. Setting up modifiers allows users to do this in the system and tells the kitchen exactly how customers want their items prepared. Modifiers give you the greatest flexibility on your products when building out your menu. If you recall from our product list and menu building tutorial, products are arranged in three tiers. Modifiers are similar, but they are organized by classes and only have two levels, the modifier class and the modifier. Before we jump into adding modifiers, let's see all the options on the modifier page first. To begin managing your modifiers, from the Products tab, navigate to Modifiers on the left menu. At the top, the Expand All option will expose all modifier classes and modifiers, and the Collapse All will minimize the list to the modifier classes only. You can quickly search for a modifier class or modifier by using the search bar. By default, the Modifiers page will show active modifiers only. If you'd like to access deactivated modifiers, select All from the drop-down to see your complete modifier list. Alright, now let's talk about modifier classes, the first step to adding modifiers. A modifier class organizes like modifiers so they can easily be applied to a product. By default, Revel includes three modifier classes, Size, Special, and Discount. For more information on these default classes, please take a look at our Advanced Modifier Features article linked below. And here's a pro tip when considering your modifier classes. When creating modifier classes, it's best to think in broad terms. For example, if you sell burgers and sandwiches and you'd like customers to have access to modify both with all the same toppings, instead of creating a modifier class for burger toppings and a separate one for sandwich toppings, just create one modifier class called toppings. So for this example, toppings will be my class and my modifiers will include ketchup, mustard, mayonnaise, lettuce, tomatoes, etc. Note, as I add modifiers to the system, just like with products, I can include the cost and price. Price would be what is charged in addition to the base price. So if I add avocado as a topping, when a customer adds it to an item, I want it to upcharge $1, so I'll put $1 in the price field. I'm going to create another modifier class here called Meat Temperature and include options for Rare, Medium Rare, and so on. Next to each modifier, the Sort field is the order in which modifiers will sort. You can indicate them here numerically or use the Sort Alphabetically option. All modifiers are activated by default, meaning that they will appear as options on the Management Console and the Point of Sale. If you deactivate them, it will hide them from both. Continue adding until all applicable modifiers for the class have been added, and be sure to save. Once the modifier is saved, you can edit the name, price, or cost by clicking in those fields and editing. Notice an R icon appears next to all of your saved modifiers, so you can even create recipes for modifiers. More on recipes in another tutorial. You can also select the pencil icon to manage additional modifier details. 
After creating your modifiers, the next step is to associate the modifiers with the appropriate products. For this, you'll navigate back to the Products tab and locate the first product you'd like to assign the modifiers to. For this example, I'm going to attach the toppings and temperature classes to my hamburger. To assign modifiers, click on the M icon next to the product. From here, select the modifier class containing the modifiers you'd like to associate with the product from the left. So I'll select toppings and meat temperature. Checking more than one modifier class will allow you to update multiple modifier classes at once. The first box here allows you to indicate if the modifiers are free or not. In some cases, they are sold at an additional price, but oftentimes there are a certain number of modifiers that customers can choose from that come free or included with the base price. To set up a free amount, first select the kind of free type you would like to apply. You can choose by quantity, like three free toppings, or by price, like $5 worth of toppings. In some cases, businesses need the ability to restrict the amount of modifiers that can be ordered with a product. Here, you can set a minimum, a maximum, or both. For the maximum field, indicate the maximum number of modifiers allowed for the modifier class. If no number is entered, then there is no limit. For minimum, indicate the number of modifiers that must be selected from this group. If no number is entered, no modifiers will be required. A good use for minimum and maximum modifier numbers is for meat temperatures. If you have a steak and you want your server to be forced to indicate the meat temperature, enter a one here to force them to input a minimum. Similarly, since meat can only be cooked to one temperature, you can set a maximum to one as well. This will force one and only one meat temperature to be selected. If you would like for the point of sale to automatically jump to the next group of modifiers when the maximum requirements have been met, check this box. Next, you'll need to select which available modifiers will show for this product. Check off the boxes under the active column for modifiers that you want to display as options for this product on the point of sale. If you'd like to activate all modifiers in the class, check the active option at the top of the table. The default column to the right will indicate which modifiers will be automatically included by default. Repeat this for the next modifier class and save when finished. Often, you'll want products to have the same modifiers. Using the previous example of the toppings modifier class, we want those toppings to be available to all burgers and sandwiches. Revel makes it easy to do this using the copy modifiers function. First, you'll need to locate the product where the class was initially assigned. In this case, I'll go to my burger. Click on the double M icon and here, you'll be prompted to click and choose which modifier settings and classes you would like to copy. To copy all settings, check Select Deselect All at the top. On the right, the product tree allows you to select the category, subcategory, or products you would like to copy the modifiers to. Select all applicable products. If you have more than one modifier class you'd like to copy, use the dropdown at the top to switch to the next class. And that's how easy it is to get your modifiers added and assigned in the system. Want to see how they look on the point of sale? From your point of sale home screen, be sure to refresh so that you can see the menu updates that we just made. Once you log in, on the dashboard, navigate to the order screen. You'll see your menu on the right along with the customer order on the left. Navigate through the categories and subcategories to find the product we recently assigned modifiers. Notice, on my burger, the modifier screen appears, and depending on the settings of your modifiers, 
you may be forced to include one or more modifier or have limitations. Please note if you do not see the options at the bottom of the screen, such as no, light, etc., these are turned on in the management console. Just navigate to settings and search for modifiers to activate additional options. As you add a product and their modifiers to an order, it appears on the left. When the order is sent to the kitchen, all modifications will display on the kitchen display or on the ticket. And that's how simple it is to manage modifiers in Revel. We hope you were able to follow along and complete the necessary steps. If you have any additional questions, please review the related content linked below or contact our support team. Thank you for watching another Revel University video tutorial.